A trio of nations, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, all nestled in the heart of West Africa, united under the leadership of governments that have gotten into power through coups, came together in 2023, forming what's known as the Alliance of Sahel States. The formation's main goal was to achieve its dream of unity in the face of its hostile neighbors in the South and, in the process, facilitate economic prosperity and, of course, to achieve a shared vision for their financial future. But to achieve this shared dream, the countries needed to shed off a currency called the CFA franc that they have had since achieving independence over half a century ago. Now the three Sahel states of Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso have agreed to take steps towards economic sovereignty by, first of all, establishing a single currency for the alliance of Sahel states. But with whispers of new beginnings and a desire for self-determination echoing through the Sahel, Mali's reluctance to ditch the CFA franc for a single currency is stirring up quite the storm. Although top brass from Niger and Burkina Faso have been strolling into Mali's backyard, ready to hash out the details of this currency conundrum, notably, several meetings have been held, proposals have been exchanged, and visions of economic utopia have been painted. But Mali has developed some cold feet about this shared vision. Therefore, as tensions simmer and alliances shift, the Sahel region finds itself at a crossroads, grappling with the age-old question of tradition versus progress. So buckle up, folks, because we're in for a wild ride. Will Mali stick to its guns and cling to the CFA franc, or will the trio alliance of Sahel states find common ground and forge a new path forward? Well, to find out, let's first of all look into the background information. The CFA franc, born in the colonial era, has been the backbone of financial transactions in West Africa for decades. Originally tied to the French colonies, it's now the common currency used by the member countries of the West African Economic and Monetary Union WEMU, including Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. It's been touted as a symbol of stability in a region often plagued by economic volatility. But critics argue that it's a relic of colonialism, serving more to benefit France than the countries it's used in. Notably, the biggest critics of the currency have been the nations led by military juntas, including Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Guinea Conakry. Therefore, after the junta-led governments of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso formed the Alliance of Sahel States, one of its goals was to forge a common cause by establishing a common currency. However, fast forward to today, and Mali's throwing a wrench in the works by refusing to jump on board with its neighbors' plans to ditch the CFA franc for a single currency for the trio alliance of Sahel states. This decision has left Niger and Burkina Faso scratching their heads and wondering what's next for their economic partnership. So, why the cold shoulder from Mali? Well, it seems there are a few factors at play here. Mali, along with its allies, recently withdrew from the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, citing dissatisfaction with the organization's response to recent coups in the region. This move has raised questions about Mali's commitment to regional integration and its willingness to embrace change. But Mali's not the only player in this game. Niger and Burkina Faso are champing to break free from what they see as the shackles of colonial influence. Their leaders have spoken out against the CFA franc, calling it a symbol of subservience to France and advocating for a new era of economic sovereignty. Current Developments Mali's decision to stick with the CFA franc while its allies eye a new regional currency has sparked quite the debate. This development presents a setback since the Mali president and his counterparts from Niger and Burkina Faso have been rallying behind the idea of a single currency as a symbol of sovereignty. But Mali seems to be hesitating, sticking to the CFA franc for now. In a recent television interview, Mali's economy and finance minister, Alassini Sanu, made it clear that Mali isn't ready to jump ship from the West African Economic and Monetary Union UMOA. But why the hesitation? Could it be a case of cold feet or something deeper at play? You see, this isn't just about currency, it's about power dynamics and regional alliances. 
Currently, Mao is facing a milliard of challenges ranging from widespread insecurity problems to rising poverty levels, therefore, the decision to adopt a new currency may not be one of its priorities. However, Mali's refusal to join its neighbors in adopting a single currency could strain its relationship with Niger and Burkina Faso. Further, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso are among the world's poorest nations, and their economies rely heavily on trade within the region. By sticking with the CFA franc, Mali risks disrupting the flow of goods and services with its neighbors. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, Mali's recent exit from ECOWAS. This move has left many scratching their heads and wondering about the future of regional integration. Will Mali's refusal to adopt a single currency further splinter the region, or will it spark a renewed push for unity? Maybe the new Sahel alliance might not be as solid as it seems, and internal dynamics may be driving Mali's decision to pump the brakes on the currency switch. As tensions simmer and alliances shift, one thing's for sure, the Sahel region is at a crossroads. Impact Analysis So, last month, these three countries, all governed by coup-born governments, dropped a bombshell by announcing their immediate departure from ECOWAS. Why? Well, they're not too happy with ECOWAS imposing sanctions on them after their military takeovers. Mali even accused ECOWAS of violating its own rules. Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso aren't just storming out of ECOWAS, they're also cozying up to Russia. Yeah, you heard that right. Russia has been flexing its muscles in the region, striking military deals and sending troops. This move could seriously shake up the balance of power in the Sahel. With these countries leaving ECOWAS, it's like breaking up a party that's been going on for decades. Millions of people rely on the free movement of goods and people within ECOWAS, and now that's all up in the air. Plus, there's the economic fallout. ECOWAS is all about boosting trade and cooperation, but with Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso out of the picture, that's a major blow. Think about it, these countries share borders, do business together, and depend on each other for stability. Remember the plan to introduce a single currency called the ECO? Yeah, that's in jeopardy too. These three countries were key players in that plan, and now they're out. So, what's the bottom line here? Well, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso might think they're sticking it to ECOWAS, but in reality, they're playing with fire. This decision could set off a chain reaction of instability, economic hardship, and maybe even conflict in the Sahel region. And that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for tuning in to our deep dive into the ECOWAS shakeup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more juicy updates. Until next time, stay curious and informed.